All right, what we're going to do here is discuss how to splice spectra, denema, uh, any of the sorts of line, whatever you like to call it. Um, so we're going to do it without a finger trapping tool, which is it can be used. What I like to use is a piece of uh, simple music wire folded over to a very small point and I put a little crimp on the end so it doesn't pull all the way through. To start out with, you take your spectra and the razor blade is the best tool to use and cut it at a very very sharp angle. As sharp as you can get it. Razor blade is the best tool to use. So now you have to do two, three times. So you have a very tapered tip. Okay, the second point you want to do you want to lay your loop out. You don't need more than about six or so inches. It's not very critical. You'll mark it where you want the loop, how big you want the loop, right? And you want to mark the other end past the insertion point. It's not real critical, just past the insertion point because it's going to shrink anyway. At this point, you'll take your finger trapping tool. You can use safety wire. I've seen people use a uh, um, tie wire for uh, metal working. So you'll Basically, loosen the loop up a little bit, loosen the loop, try to go in between your braids, again, not that critical on this end. Slide it down through the middle of the braid, a little tricky. That's where the uh, music wire comes in handy because it's kind of stiff and you can form it right down through the wire. Come out at your first mark, spread the braid, try to come out between the lines, poke out a little bit. At this point, grab your free end and pinch in quarter inch just a little bit. Okay? At this point you're going to milk it right back through the line. Milk it right back through. At this point you want to pull it all the way through it but the back end so it's through. Unhook your line. Try not to pull it in there at that point. Match up where you want your loop is at and then milk it down. <clears throat> Now typically at this point on parachutes and such you would see a zigzag show, so or a bar tack. There's a trick little thing to be able to keep this thing locked in without sewing it, without it adding three or four feet finger trapped in, which you can do with this method. But if you'll take your same tool and go in midway, a third way down, loosen the weave up, make sure you go through both weaves, okay? Maybe go through the, but both, both the, the inner loop and the outer loop, make sure you go through the middle of them. Push your tool through, you have to open it up a little bit, and grab just the tip. Just barely grab the tip with your wire. I hope you can see the wire. At this point, you'll take it and just wiggle it, work it, and it'll pull right over the top. It will pull. It will pull. Let's see. So, then at this point, you unhook your wire, and what you have is the loop pulling through itself. I hope you can see that with the color. The loop actually pulls itself through. You finish pulling it through and it ends up looping through itself and locks that finger trap in there permanently. There's no way to pull that out without breaking the lines. Extremely strong, works very well. Um, you can use this for splicing two, splicing the line together, but then you, without, without tacking it, you need to three feet into each other, three feet pulling into each other so that, that it won't slip. But just doing a loop on the end, very easy, very simple, quick way to do it. Thanks. Hope uh, you got that. We'll try and see how it comes out.